Hello YouTubers, welcome to my new Doctor Who blog. In this blog I'll be talking about my opinions on the new stories that have been recovered, which are Enemy of the World and The Web of Fear. Now, last night I downloaded The Web of Fear on iTunes. I haven't downloaded The Enemy of the World yet because I'm going to save my money Well, for the Dimensions Convention and I'll if I have any money left, I'll download it after that. But I haven't heard Enemy of the World on audio, but I've heard it's a very good story. Obviously, I've seen episode 3, which is part of the Lost in, Bo time, the Lost in Time box set, which is over there in that shelf, the golden shelf, I would call it, uh, with my pride and joy. And uh, so I'm just going to tell you my thoughts, because I've been, the internet's been going crazy with you know, these uh, people's opinions on and reactions, and this is basically a reaction video to the, the new episodes, um, which of course are Enemy of the World and Web of Fear, except the fact that the Enemy of, uh, the Web of Fear episode 3 is missing still. So what they've done for iTunes is that they put the audio with the telly stamps, which I'm not too bothered about, uh, but it, I'm sure it's going to be animated for next year's release, and it's good that uh, the DVD range is going to continue, but it is narrowing, narrowing down. Unless, of course, there's going to be more announcements about, um, you know, I don't know maybe Evil of the Daleks has been found, which I really do hope, because I've listened to Evil of the Daleks countless times, and it's just a very good story. I recently listened to Power of the Daleks as well, um, which is also a very good story. But I do prefer. I, I mean, I love them both, but I do prefer Evil of the Daleks because it's. It's, it's legendary. So is part of the Daleks, but you know. So, um, what did I think of the Web of Fear? Um, the Web of Fear, I thought was, oh, just a brilliant, brilliant story. Um, I mean, we had episode one originally because that was also on the Lost in Time box set. Um, and it's a shame because at the time I was like. God, why can't we see the rest of them? And then, was what was it yesterday, the day before? Uh, they were announced, and I was really, really pleased because we had rumours kicking off in June about Enemy of the World and the Mother Fear, and for some reason Marco Polo being returned. Now, I don't know about Marco Polo because a lot of people are speculating whether or not that's true. But I personally, I don't think it's true about Marco Polo because to have all seven episodes back, I mean, come on, that is a bit ridiculous, in my opinion. But um, you know, it's it's really really good that we have two Patrick Travers stories in the line. Uh, we must have about now ten when they come out on DVD. When when both of them come out on DVD, because Enemy of the World is scheduled for some time towards the end of November during the couple of days of the 50th anniversary um, and the Web of Fear I believe will be released next year in February and they've already released DVD artwork covers I mean why didn't they do that for Terror of the Zygons? That was piss take. If they could release DVD covers for um, Enemy of the World and Web of Fear as soon as they've been announced and recovered then why not do that for Terror of the Zygons? And yet Terror of the Zygons was a ridiculously long awaited release being pushed back and back and back uh, until the 30th of September. I mean, come on. But, I mean, we've still got the 10th Planet, which is coming out on Monday, um, which I'll probably get a few days afterwards. Depends. Uh, I mean, I've already got it, but I'd love to see the special features for it. And, uh, coming soon trailer for Enemy of the World. Um, so it's good that the DVD range has been extended to 2014 because I genuinely don't know what other stories could have been recovered. Maybe they have more, they just don't know what they are yet because they're still trying to... I don't, I don't know. Maybe they have them and they know what they are. They just don't want to announce it until the 50th anniversary because that's what a lot of people think. Um... But it's good that we you know it's good that we know that we have two stories 
from the Patrick Troughton era, because he is highly, he is, what would you say, well, let's just say that most of his stories, most of his stories don't exist uh, anymore, and it's a shame, because Patrick Troughton is an awesome doctor, and he's recently become one of my joint favourites in between John Pertwee and Sylvester McCoy, uh, which makes Christopher Eccleston the fourth favourite. But, um, oh, I'm wearing my new uh, jumper, by the way. Hope you like it. Um, I got it from Marks and... S no, wait, I think it was Marks and Spencer's I got it from. Yeah, I think it was Marks and Spencer's. But, um, anyway, off topic. So, you know, I will do an episode review of The Web of Fear, um, most definitely, that'll be my first classic series episode review. I don't think I've done episode reviews of the classic series before. I know I did of the new series, but that was a design series in itself. But um, yes, I mean, this might this video is probably a bit late. It should have been up yesterday, and it's filmed been filming today. So um, I don't want to say too much because I'll probably ramble on for ages. But I would just like to say this, I am so happy. I mean, yeah, it's nine episodes, but there are some bastards out there who, I mean, I, w I mean I'm probably one of those bastards who would have wanted more episodes to come back. Uh, but still, we got nine, and that's a good quantity. At least we don't have, like, say, two, like we did a couple of years ago, but they were still good episodes. Um, so... Really, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, I watched Grant two four six seven eight's video um, of his reaction, uh, which was which is very good. Uh, so cheers for making that. Um, I watched Comic Creation. I watched um, Zelda Productions one video. I watched mm, let's have a look. TJ Productions video. Uh, Sammy Carter's video, of course, or Living the Dream Stories 2013, whichever one you choose. Um, you know, it, the internet's going crazy with um, this news, and <laughs> I don't blame it. If I was head of the BBC and I found that, and I, I was told that these episodes have been recovered, I'd have been running around the BBC. Uh, screaming my head off, uh, saying, oh my god, these episodes I've found, I'm so happy. I mean, I'm sure lots of people in the BBC are happy, for those who like Doctor Who, and are working in the Doctor Who department, because that have been probably one of the best moments of their life to date. Um, and of course, with me and my life, uh, and Toby's blogs and his friend, we're going to uh, Dimensions soon, and we'll be able to talk to Deborah Watling, which I Cannot wait to I can't wait to meet her, uh, who plays Victoria Waterfield, and to ask her about you know what are your opinions on the new recoveries and which story do you prefer? Uh, I'm sure she'd probably say oh I love both stories, um, but uh, I think she said she really wants Fury of the Deep uh, back on the Mirror News video. I, I watched. A reconstruction of her departure on because there's a reconstruction of her departure on YouTube that someone's uploaded and I nearly cried uh, because she is actually my favorite companion um, she has been for say one and a half or no actually I'll say two months now she's been my favorite companion for two months because it used to be was it Jamie or Joe Grant, I can't quite remember, but um, yeah, she's become my new favorite companion. I'm not too keen on Zoe. Uh, I mean, she's good. She's a good companion, but I'm um, not too keen on her. But she's still good. Don't get me wrong. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so thanks, guys, for watching this. Uh, tell me what you think of. Well, I actually probably know what you think, because you've all uploaded videos, and they are all splendid. But um, yeah, that's pretty much. I, I, of course, we hope to get more missing episodes found, uh, like Evil and Power, because they're, they're the most two 
wanted and Dalek's master plan. But um, I should say I got a Doctor Who book today, uh, which was the 50th anniversary of uh, edition of uh, Remembrance of the Daleks. Um, I've read the other two, Players and Vast of the Gathering, and they are good. Uh, I have reviewed them. Um, so I'll probably review Remembrance of the Daleks at some point. Of course, I got to read it first, but um, uh, yeah, another got also got another book as well, not of Doctor Who, but it's uh, James Herbert's The Rats. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, and so yeah, I shall see you next time for more videos, uh, and I will keep you in touch. And also, there's been a couple of leaked pictures of Day of the Doctor, which are pretty awesome. So. I'll See you soon, and um, bye for now.